In this video, we will now explore the left join. The left join is pretty close to the inner join because it still gives us this pink result set, which is the inner join result set. So we will have employees that have a valid department, but we also get rows from table A that do not have a match in table B. And also the query syntax is pretty similar. Instead of inner join and now specify that it's a left join and also have the join condition, with this join condition, the inner join is done, but also those employees that don't have a matching row in the department table are now going to our output. So let's look at this in dbeaver. Here we have the left join and dot SQL. So here we have the same query again, like before, pretty much the same like inner join, only that we write left join here now. Okay, or you could instead write a left outer join if you wanted, but it would give the same result. And if I execute in this one, you can see we get the output like this. But additionally here, we have this employee now that we did not have before. Okay, if I convert this again back to inner join here, you can see the query works in the same way, but we only get 23 rows. And I said it was a left join, so we can say, okay, this is one additional row. This is why we removed this condition first to be able to also have an employee here without a valid department. This is already it for the left joining of two tables. Like with the other joins, you could do that on more than these two tables. That's it for the left join. In the next video, we're going to talk about right join. Please put your questions in the Q&A and see you in the next video.